You want to watch a parade without waiting hours for a spot? Well, we found a way to do that. We're here to review the Magic Happens Parade Dining Package at the Plaza Inn at Disneyland Resort. I'm Brad. I'm Kim. And we're 626 Ohana, California. Yeah, this is kind of an option that's out there if you don't want to camp out for that spot for hours on end for the parade. It costs $45 per adult or $25 per child from three years old to eight years old. How do you get your tickets? Well, you're gonna have to go online to, on the app or to the Disneyland website and make a reservation. So you can make that advanced dining reservation 60 days in advance. So where do you go once you get your tickets and you're ready to go here? You're gonna go up to the Plaza Inn and where the general line is, you go to the left and there'll be a sign that says, parade dining package. Mm -hmm. When you made your reservation, they're gonna give you your return dining time. So that's gonna be between the hours of 1 and 3.30 p.m. So what's in the adult meal? The adult meal is a short rib with fried chicken, pesto mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, a dessert, and a drink, which is either a fountain drink or a Dasani water. Yeah, uh, really, uh, with this meal, it's kind of difficult because if you, like for me, I don't care for chicken, for thighs and legs. I'd rather have a chicken breast and you get thighs and legs. And for me, uh, I don't eat fried food. It usually upsets my stomach. I'm sensitive to it. So I did ask if there was alternative. I said even if it's just extra vegetables or something else. And uh, they gave me baked chicken. But I'm going to tell you, this is one of the first times I've ever talked to a chef that's ever had a problem and actually i kind of got some major attitude from the chef and i was even like hey if it's just vegetables i understand i'm not trying to get a higher value or anything like that i'm just looking for a non-fried option so your side was a, a side of attitude there you go <laughs> uh but really all the other cast members involved were extremely nice and were trying to really help us out for the request of trying to change things so this is something to be aware of if you need to change something that they may be a little resistive. Yeah, it was definitely a little resistant from the chef, but the actual cast members who were serving were very nice and like, yeah, let's see how we can help you. And so the child's <laughs> meal we have to get into, which that consists of chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, a dessert, sunny water, or low fat milk. Okay, so then when you check out, they're gonna give you a lanyard <laughs> with that says that you can get into this viewing area. So what to know is if there are two parades during the day, your reservation to watch the parade is gonna be the second show. The second thing is they didn't really tell you before when you're booking this dining package where the <laughs> viewing is gonna be. No. So we had to kind of ask at the time and it was down by the end of Main Street is where kind of the flagpole is in that center island. So you'll see uh, across the street, you'll see the Disneyland uh, railway uh, station. station. And so you're kind of in that little island area with the American flag and everything right there. Um, so that is gonna be your viewing area. They'll have a couple of cast members sitting there and then you have to show them your lanyard and they'll be like, oh, okay. And, and that's going in and out every time. And they'll give you a ticket as well that you have to hand to them. So like we went to go get popcorn after we checked in and they gave us a ticket and when we came back, we had to give the ticket back. back. <laughs> Plus have our lanyard on. Yeah, so yeah, it's kind of double redundancy, I guess is the way to do it. Let's go ahead and let's talk about uh, the seating area before we review everything. So it's either standing or sit on the ground. We kind of didn't read up about this. I kind of grabbed this last second that <laughs> popped up. I thought it was gonna be like the bench seating or the chair seatings they had in that island area. And I was wrong. Yeah, uh, I believe they did have a couple of benches in there, but it was, they were gone like that. And actually all the curb seating when we got there was gone. gone. Uh, so we were trying to stand in the back because we were trying to take some videos and stuff and uh, be respectful. But the problem was what we found out was is people were still standing up and everything during the parade. Granted, we got a great view of the parade. We did. And uh, could watch the whole thing go through, which was really cool to watch. And that parade was really neat because we don't usually watch the parades. Um, magic happens. I was so impressed with the floats. Um, I was blown away. I really thought that's an amazing parade. So we're gonna tell you that we were really impressed with that part and all the performers and the floats were incredible. Yeah, it was And cool. so 
the rest of this review is not going to be about the parade itself. Yeah, and that, it's about this dining experience. Yeah, so the parade, absolutely awesome. If you get a chance to watch it, watch it. Uh, let's go ahead and go with our first disappointments. And our first disappointment for me was the meal. Um, unfortunately, for $45 and what we got, it didn't feel like... It was worth the price. Yeah. And there's more into that just for the value-wise of that, but it was very rigid of what you could have, it seemed like, and... Also, the line to get the food was pretty long, so there was a lot of waiting mm -hmm. to get into the restaurant first. Then once you went to pick up your food, there was a bit of a line. Then you still had to go through the main <laughs> checkout line. So there was like three lines inside, yeah. which I thought was a bit redundant. Yeah. So yeah, that was kind of the, the food quality. I mean, the short ribs was good. I mean, yeah, the short ribs were the winner of that meal. They weren't outstanding. The fried chicken, again, I don't care for chicken Dark uh, meat. meat. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so for me, it was yeah. the baked chicken was not very good at all. Um, the dessert uh, but, was good. Yeah, the dessert was great. The pesto mashed potatoes were decent. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, mine were a little chilly by the time we got everything. So yeah. through everything, so it does cool off quickly. It does. And then we went to the parade viewing area, and that was our ma major second disappointment. And this I would say that overshadows the food. Yeah, and this is what puts it where we don't feel uh, as a good value. So we could have gone literally across the street from where we were and stood there, showed up right before the parade and had the exact same view. Yeah. To me, when you do a dining package like this, it should be special. It should be something above and beyond. It's not something I feel like you should be able to go across the street and get the same view and the same seating and the same everything. With the same amount of time of waiting because <laughs> we were really there for about a half hour beforehand or so. Oh, I know. It was like an hour. Oh, an hour. Maybe day. it was a half hour. Yeah, half hour. But it was a good significant amount of time. But people came up across the street with a lesser weight and had the exact same view that we yeah. did. So that to us right there kind of like took the way the whole point of this dining package. Yeah. So, before we get into what we would recommend, if you're finding this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and follow along with our haunted. So another thing to notice that's a little different with this dining package is you can cancel two hours in advance to avoid any penalty. From that one hour and 59 minutes to right before, you'd be charged $10 per person to cancel. If you're just a no-show, then they charge you the whole price. Okay, so there's a positive to something if you have this book that you're watching this in the last minute. Right, because a lot of uh, advanced dining reservations, um, dining packages, you can't uh, cancel the same day. You have to do the day before. So overall, what is our recommendation? Truthfully, go to a plate restaurant that you may enjoy to eat at and save the money and just go to the parade. We were there during a very busy weekend day during spring break. And what we really found was it, we didn't need it that way. Wait, we could have gone across the street and been perfectly fine, and we'd have been probably more happy. We probably would pick some place to eat. Quit, truthfully, a quick service meal anywhere else would have been better. Even the main plaza dining, where you could have picked like a pot roast or something else, yeah. I feel like that would have been less of a wait for food and checkout, and it would have been better quality and probably lower price. So. Yeah, it's that thing that, unfortunately, this is where we come in. I know people may be like, uh, I disagree with you, but we need to be honest about what we feel and what right. we feel is this value, and we just don't feel the value is here for this. This is one of those things is, this is probably the only dining package extra tour that we've done so far that I would say I cannot recommend. Like, this is one that we'd honestly wholeheartedly say skip. Yeah. So save the money, do something else. <laughs> so with that disappointing news, it's, I think it's time for us to say goodbye and find, find your, your magic. magic. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.